Okay, I'm gonna do a little, a little more caulking here. When I get it up against here, I want to really squirt down on it and not just cover the top, you know? So it kind of goes down in there. So I'm kind of setting it tight and just squeezing it in there. And that'll go down a little bit further. I want to get it down. I don't want to just put a skin over the top of that. And I can go, I can go that way, and then this way. I don't like to go this way and then get it built up on my finger too much before I come back. And this is a new tube, so even though I depress it, it still sometimes it still squirts out. Some tubes, some new tubes do that, and some don't. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so see, I'm just setting it right there and squeeze in a little bit. I'm kind of depressing on there because I don't want, I don't want too much coming out. So I got it depressed, and it'll probably still, still come out. And that's all I'm going to do on that side. Just kind of take it up high there and then go down a little lower. Add just a little if I think I need it. I don't have to have it perfect. I, it doesn't have to be perfectly f flush with that concrete on the riser. It just has to be bonded on there and sealed, you know? Look under there and that's looking pretty good. I could maybe put a little bit more up in there. I could do it now or I could let it I could let it dry skin up a little before doing it but I think I can I can still get it sometimes it's hard to work with it once you get a, one coating on there it's hard to put a second little bit on there right away ah look at that I hit that where I did the putty knife it had skinned over and hit it okay just leave that alone like that and keep and keep moving on okay I'll do this I'll do this last little bit on the stair here this section right here see I, I've got the end depressed but I've still got some coming out why it does that sometimes I like I generally like to go right to left like I'm doing but I had to go from left to right to start this stair to get out of the corner but you'll get you'll get good at it both directions. my my finger like a putty knife and looking up underneath there there hey there really got any left and I can wipe that off on the step on the on the top or if I see a mark 
line on it or somewhere. Okay. All right, so I'll keep her going and show you what it looks like in a minute. I figured I'd show you. Uh, I'm caulking this. This is where that stucco patch is going to be. And when they did this, when they did the stucco, they did two layers. One is the concrete. Uh, is the more is the stucco that they put on it's called a scratch coat and then they put uh, The next thin layer over the top I'm not quite sure what this material is because it's it's kind of flexible and and I could peel this whole wall off in one go if I wanted so it's some sort of type of application That I've never really seen before Okay, so This is just gonna help hold it right and if I get a little bit on the stucco uh, it's okay if I do because once I put the once I put the stucco patch on I'm gonna I'm gonna go over that joint just a hair okay now I can kind of wipe it this way um, because I want to get it right up inside there, see? I was wiping the excess on a, on a line over there. And I'm, I'm pushing it right up, right up underneath there. going to keep that from bulging out any higher than that like in the summer if I wouldn't have done that I could still get that patch to look okay but then it's still going to be loose it's still loose right around in here but I didn't want to rip this out any further because like I say I could take a putty knife and scrape this whole wall off in one go if I wanted because it's it's just puckering in certain areas okay so that's how that's how I do that for that stucco patch. You want to watch that stucco patch, keep watching my my videos and you'll see it coming up in the next few episodes. Watch for it on my channel. Uh, one, one thing I wanted to talk about on the caulking real quick. I use light gray and you might have thought, hey Joe, why didn't you use like almond or you know some other color and you know, I could have used almond, uh, and then sometimes they have a sludgy color, but they didn't have it. They had light gray, they had black, and I think they had white. So I thought, I'll just use the light gray. Oh, they had dark brown. I thought, I'll just use the light gray because uh, most of this, uh, where I do the stucco patch up against the wall, it's going to cover the, stucco, the uh, caulking, okay? But wherever it doesn't, or what have you, this is paint paintable. And I happen to have, after I do the stucco patches and stuff along here, I happen to have this same paint. And after I get all that done, then I'll, I'll get the paint out and paint along here on both sides. It'll look really good when I get done. Just whatever you do, don't think you're going to put clear, 100% clear silicone around all this and say, oh yeah, silicone works way better. Well, guess what? 100% silicone is not paintable. Okay? Remember that. Well, I got the rest of it caulked and I had about a half a tube. Well, I, I had four and a half tubes and then the last half I just went over the tops where the bigger uh, cracks were and stuff. I think that's just going to help hold these glue lamp beam material stair treads together longer. And I filled that all in down in there. And when that dries, that's going to keep that area tight because there was some dry rot on the step over there. And see how I did it along the stucco? 
sides I just went all the way around because if it if it ever if the stair treads ever leak they might not necessarily leak in the middle they're gonna leak over on the edge of this wall or with the water hitting this coming down going in between the stair tread and the stucco let's say and uh, you know once I install the stair treads I'm still gonna take a look at it and see if uh, well more than likely yes <laughs> I will be caulking the top of the stair tread up along the stucco the stucco's got to be patched first step by step we'll get her done and the next step is going to be patching the stucco you're going to you're going to probably want to watch that because the material i have i've never really used it for stucco patch anywhere else other than this house and when we moved in here about four years ago uh the previous owner had some stucco patch material in a five gallon bucket that they had saved from before they uh they must have done some patching i can see that they've done some patching here and there and they probably repainted and they probably used this stuff for all their patches and they had that extra he didn't need it so he left it for me thank you very much because i'm going to use that tomorrow well that's all i got for this time but I'll be back with more videos. And yes, it is all in the prep. Two coats of sealer on the wood and then caulking everything. And then I'm going to patch the stucco along the edges wherever I feel it needs it. And more than likely, uh, I'm probably well, I'll, I'll have to take a look at it tomorrow and see. I'll probably, uh, I'll do the questionable ones first and then anything that's, that's, you know, really questionable, like, like that one there, it might, if it's, if everything's flush and it's just a little bit of caulking there, I might leave certain areas. But if it's, if it's inset a little bit, then I'm going to patch it with the stucco. And, uh, you know, I've done that. I've patched this along here one time before and I know I can do it again when I get done it's really not gonna look like a patch either hope to see you then